Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a short trade here, looking for a refill off of this area of resistance. Now we talked about this area of resistance in the newsletter last night, so make sure to check that out. But this area of resistance is between 53.5 down to 52.3 and we finally hit it now the one problem that you'll notice a lot of the tests of this area happened in the European session there's not really anything we can do with that unfortunately but we can see that the sellers are blatantly obviously defending this area now after this big drop off the highs we can see that they tried very hard to get the breakout to the upside and it completely fell apart back lower where they found support at the bottom of it before they broke down and that's really what we're looking at we're looking at this to break down pull back to that area and more sellers find resistance there now also more importantly than just one level coming into play we also have the channel highs in the exact same location and if you look left over all of this price action notice where all of this area of resistance came in it's all in the same place so we're using not only market structure where the market is showing support and resistance at a level we're using the channel highs we're using the newsletter support and resistance everything coming into play at the exact same place now in terms of the stop we don't want to see the highs broken that's the big red flag if the sellers are defending this we shouldn't break through the highs of this uh, so the stop is going to go up there now because of that we want to make sure that our target is at least equal to that stop size. So our, from our stop here at the highs down to our entry point, we're looking at a one-to-one -one objective at 50.6. And we're going to take two contracts off there. Now, the final one, in this situation, we have a lot of downside potential still. Everything is still pointing to the downside. And if we are going to hold this as long-term resistance, we should be going back to the prior low of day, right? That's kind of what we're looking for. That prior low of day moves down. We pull into that area of that resistance resistance that we were talking about and we're looking at this in the sense of a AB equals CD leg to the downside now we did have a little bit of that early in the morning uh, well actually later at night uh, but all of that happened in the overnight session we want to see it do it again during prime time right so the overall objective to the downside is back to the prior low of day now I'll put my target ahead of that by just a little bit I don't like putting my target on any of those levels to the tick like that but keeping that in mind we do have some other areas that we need to keep an eye on. We have this area at 49.5 that could act as an area of resistance, uh, in this case support. So if we do come down and we find a bunch of support coming off that level, it may not be a bad idea to migrate your target up to that. It really depends on when we come down and hit this area. If we do it right now and it slams all the way down in one huge candle, you're better off taking your target there at 49.5. If we grind our way down over the course of the morning and we get down here at noon, that's a different story, right? Because then we're showing consistent bearish pressure. So as long as we don't just slam down right now, which obviously I would like in a way, uh, but I also don't really want to see that because then we need to be looking at 49.5 instead. So we'll give the sellers a little bit of time here. We are seeing an initial reaction off that level as to be expected. Beautiful area to be looking for a short multiple combination setup here. Now we just need to see the sellers show up to the rest of the party and drive the market back down to our one-to-one -one objective first at 50.6 and then either 49.5 or 47.2. Sellers pushing down aggressively here. Now, because of this aggressive drop lower, this is what we were talking about. I do want to see this and I don't want to see this, right? Because we're seeing this aggressive drop lower, it really looks as though a lot of sellers were thinking the exact same thing. They missed the original entry points all through the morning session and the European session. So if it comes back, they're going to sell it aggressively and that causes a big drop down. So because of that, the stop is going to lock in above this little trap high that forms. So it's a very small stop. Our initial target still at 50.6 but now we need to be looking for our tighter target now I don't really want to put my target there like we were talking about earlier but in this case it's not really giving us a chance to do anything else we're slamming down and in today all of the moves that we've seen so far that are big big spikes have been reversals right huge spike down it did come back down to the lows eventually but it never breached those lows again before it went back up to the highs and that actually formed another big spike down before a move up smaller 
but large spike up, found resistance back down. Big spike down, found support. Big spike up, found resistance. So that's what we're really concerned about. If this ends up being a big spike down, there's a chance that we just may never come back down to those lows again. So if that is the case, we want to make sure to get some of our profit. And if we can, lock the target in a little bit tighter just to be safe. So the overall objective now, given current price action, is going to be at 49.6. First target filled. Now we're just waiting for the sellers to show up and drive the market a little bit further down. Moving the stop in a little bit more, again, we're seeing the sellers really slamming the market down here, and that is, again, a cause for concern. This It is and it isn't what we wanted to see, uh, but in this case, our target at 49.6, we are running into this support level at the bottom of the channel. That's something that we need to pay attention to. Taking away the negative stop reduces that risk. So now our stop is at plus one. Worst case, we take a plus one on it. It's obviously not the plus 20 that we're sitting on right now, but at least we're reducing the risk to nothing and we're actually putting the risk in our favor uh, so in that case that's what we're looking for but we get the drive down we hit that area and again because it all happened in one big drive down we can't be looking for the bigger objectives anymore there's too great of a chance of this finding way too much support and bouncing right back up and look at that initial reaction this is what I was concerned about right we get this big spike down we've seen this several times already this morning it hits it and then finds a huge amount of support and just fires right back in on us we don't want to sit through all that much better off just taking the profit if we find another reason to get in then we will but this is the situation that we wanted to avoid and it was a good call to move that target up a little bit further so beautiful move down gorgeous reaction off that level of resistance from the newsletter and that's going to do it for me so if you have any questions about it feel free to send an email to school of trade don't forget to check out our trial at school of trade.com and as always we'll catch you next time